Hi everyone and welcome back to It's a Twin Thing. I hope you all had a really great weekend. Um, so today I'm going to continue sharing our journey in the special care unit with the kids. Um, so for those that don't know, the special care unit is basically the section of the hospital for the kids. Um, so they have what they call the NICU ward, which is basically um, like ICU or intensive care for the kids. Um, and the special care unit is basically the, the area for the kids. It's just a, basically the, the hospital for children um, as part of the Mercy Hospital. So we were part of the Mercy Hospital for women in Heidelberg and um, they were really great with us. So I could highly recommend them. Um, so in regards to feeding for the children, because they were born so preemie, they hadn't yet formed the skills to be able to suck. So they couldn't take a bottle. Um, so for a few, probably for first couple of weeks, I think, um, they had a tube. So the tube went through their nose and down into their stomach. And literally they were only consuming maybe 20 mils at the most. Um, and they gradually, the nurses gradually had to up the feet as they, as they grew and got bigger. Um, I think it's naturally at 34 weeks in the womb, the babies will develop um, certain skills, mature. Um, so for them to be able to suck straight away being born at um, 31 weeks, it just, it wasn't gonna happen. So that's why they we had to get them fed by the tube. Um, but it was really, really good to see that on the 12th of Feb, so they're born on the 28th of Jan, and on the 12th of Feb, they both had their first bottle. So not that they had a lot of milk, but they were able to suck on their first bottle, which was really exciting. So um, for a lot of the time in there, they did partially tube and then partially bottle as it took time for the kids to learn how to suck. So they may only get a little bit of milk from the bottle. Um, and if they couldn't consume the bottle, they would get fed via the tube until gradually they got more um, onto the bottle and less onto the tube. So once that happened, the, they could remove the tubes out, which was great because um, it was really hard for us watching the kids with tubes and wires and all that through their um, through their body. So it was nice to see them without any tubes in their in their nose or, or anything like that. Um, so that was the feeding, which was challenging. Um, I do remember sitting there at one point thinking to myself, is it ever gonna be easy for them just to take a bottle and feed? Um, and I look at them now and it's completely easy and they love their bottle and they drink, drink, drink and they never say no to food. So um, it was, it eventually got better. So that's good. Um, also with their baths. So part of being um, in the special care unit, we got to learn how to bathe them. And so, um, Joshua had his first bath on the 16th of Feb um, and Daniela had it on the 20th of Feb only because she had a few more complications. So um, because when they're so preemie, they use a lot of energy just simply by having a bath. So they didn't want to exhaust her um, if she wasn't ready. So we just waited a little bit longer for her um, until she was a little bit more ready to have a bath um, and she did and they did great and for us it was really really good because um, we got guided through the process of how to hold them in the bath and because they were so little so a lot of the time because they were prem things were a little bit different because they were so tiny so we had to sort of improvise on how we held them or how we fed them um, so it was it was very interesting to learn um, but now the kids are, you know, you would never know to look at them now that they were prem babies. So, which is good. Um, so I'll leave it there for today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will continue on tomorrow with our, our journey in the special care unit. Have a great day. Cheers.